Behold the herb that healed the armies of Achilles. If it only could have protected that heel. Bummer. Yarrow is actually named for the mythological hero Achilles, with its full Latin name actually meaning a thousand leaves. It's Yarrow. Yarrow has been used for thousands of years, from the indigenous North American tribes where the Navajo called it one of their sacred life medicines, to China where they used 64 yarrow sticks to read the I Ching. Yarrow is also helpful for bird's nest, and it's also helpful for other plants because it repels parasites and helps soil quality. But y'all are here for the health benefits, so let's get started with wound healing. The ancient Greeks used yarrow to treat wounds, and wisely so, as yarrow is styptic, which means it can help stop bleeding. Modern studies also back up how it helps with wounds thanks to its various properties. There was even one study that showed how it is particularly helpful in episiostomies in women after childbirth. Now even though Yarrow stops bleeding, I keep saying Yarrow. Now even though Yarrow, I don't know why I don't want to say it that way. Yarrow, Yarrow, my mind, what am I supposed to do? Now even though Yarrow stops bleeding, it can help with blood flow and circulation as well. Now old fogies like me, gosh is that right, am I an old fogie now? Will want to try it because it can help treat or prevent varicose veins and spider veins. And on a more serious bent, it can also help with atherosclerosis and high blood pressure. Studies show that Yarrow tea can reduce digestive spasms and IBS. Additional studies have also shown the flavonoids and alkaloids in Yarrow can help with all of these other symptoms as well. Yarrow tea can help reduce corticosterone, which is one of those hormones that increases with stress. One study showed that the daily usage of yarrow helped promote mental and physical activity to combat depression. Research also shows that yarrow can have a similar effect to Valium, aka diazepam, which is often used for stress, sleep, and anxiety. Studies have even shown that yarrow can help with various brain-related problems. In particular, there's promising research that shows how yarrow can help with cognitive results in people with multiple sclerosis. Yarrow can help a wide gamut of inflammation problems, including liver problems, skin infections and skin aging, chronic inflammation and mild pain issues. Yarrow tea is an amphoretic herb, which means that basically it's really good at normalizing your body system. And this means that it can help with all sorts of nasty problems problems that women have to deal with like PMS and all of these problems as well. Though there is some research saying you can't use it earlier in pregnancy because it can encourage problems like miscarriage. Yarrow tea is also a diaphoretic herb which means it can help you sweat and this can be especially great to help you beat those fevers. Yarrow. Yarrow. It's yarrow. Why do I keep wanting to say yarrow? Yarrow. While there isn't much direct research, yarrow's properties are backed by numerous professionals saying it can help with colds, hay fever, and various respiratory issues. Yarrow is also a natural decongestant, so you don't need a ton of research to see why it helps here. Yarrow does have research showing how it can help with parasitic infections like malaria and leishmaniasis, as well as other infections like tonsil inflammation, thrush, strep, candida, and more. Speaking of more benefits, these ones don't have direct research as of yet, though they do have anecdotal and herbal professionals claiming they work. So who knows, Yarrow could help you with any one of these benefits too. Yarrow is great for a lot of things, but there's a few things that it can give some people problems with. First off, being another member of the pesky ragweed family, it can give some people allergic reaction problems. And some people have found that it can irritate their skin when used topically. Supposedly, this isn't as much of a problem when using the tea, but a lot of people People will make decoctions that they'll actually put on the skin with the tea. An excess use of yarrow tea could possibly cause blurry vision, dry mouth, fatigue, and heart palpitations. But this had only been reported by somebody who had five or more cups of the tea a day, which is quite excessive. Now it's also suggested that you avoid yarrow tea if you're taking blood thinners or you're within two weeks before or after having surgery. Making yarrow tea is very simple. Much like making any other herbal tea, you can use one or two teaspoons in a cup of boiling water and leave it for six to ten minutes depending on how strong you want it. If you want to learn about another great tea then watch this video right here next till next time be kind take care of each other and enjoy your tea yarrow 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 which one do you like <laughs>